Cup of Joe on Nintendo is powered by the You, Me, and Capri Patreon. We want to say thank you to some people starting with our Diamond Executive Producers, Slimer Snarf, Lee Navarro, and Jonathan Brown. Also, our Platinum Producer, Robbie Bobby Miller. And then to our Gold Level Patrons like James Johnson, Jean K, Skinny Matt, Ashley Nicholson, Aaron Gropper, Trucker Sloth, Argo, Ryan Turford, Egg Shen, and Ray Sony Pony Martinez. Thank you everyone for all of your support. So Sean, this is Bobby. This is the first. Well, not the first, but it's exciting news. It's pretty exciting news. Two okay. things. I actually set aside Animal Crossing this week. Oh, so a it new took, dawn. It took me getting it took me getting sick and, and all that. Uh, to get right in the head. To to just not to get right in the head. <laughs> I'm just stop kidding. it. I'm just kidding. But to but to like just play something different, you know? Yeah. So two things I started. Well, last night I downloaded a demo for a game called Neon Abyss. Ooh, yes. Get the demo. Mm-hmm. It's it's a really good game. Yeah, it's on uh, Game Pass. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a a, a side scrolling um tw- uh, twin stick shooter, I guess you would yeah. say. Yeah. Well, it's like a, it's like a roguelike like you, you it kind of starts over and you yeah. you're you're making your runs and then you die and then you start over kind of thing. But I mean the way you shoot, like you're using the yeah. one stick to shoot the one way and the one yeah. stick to control yourself. Like Man, Contra. It's yeah, it's looks really good. Like mm-hmm. it's really I had some fun with that. I played a demo a little bit last night. Nice. But Everybody I really, loves a demo. Huh? Everybody loves a demo. I mean, you know what? It's enough to get you to go like, I'm going to buy this game now. I'm going to mm-hmm. pick it up. And then the other one that I was playing was uh, Super Mega Baseball 3. Oh, yeah, man. Dude. I love I, that you love that game so I much. I love this game. Love this game. Yeah. I literally sat there, built my team. With all these like old time all stars from when I was a kid. Well, you just name them. Yeah, just name them. Yeah, because you can yeah. change the names, their appearance. Yeah, like the way they bat, the way they swing, the way they throw. So I went through and I like changed all the hitters. You remember like how these players like how they bat, like their stance and stuff. Like you remember that from back in the day, mm-hmm. and you can just like you don't have to look that up or anything. Some of them, yeah. Like the, that's pretty impressive. The bigger stars, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I, I know. I to this day, I could see Pete Rose. To this yeah. day, I can see Ken Griffey Jr. I yeah. can see Mike Schmidt, who used to shimmy his little Heiners just before, you know. His Heiners? Yeah, his, his backside. Like his, 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 his arse. He used, to <laughs> shake his, he used to shake his butt a little bit as, as the pitch was coming. He used okay. to sway back and forth. Yeah. yeah. It, well, no, you can't. Wait. Yeah, 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 I did. I did. You can put that in there. So it's pretty good. It was pretty cool, man. It was pretty cool. But it's a lot of fun, man. It was, yeah. and, and I started a season. I literally put like I think I'm like twelve games into the season. Yeah, but what Are you I doing lo- good? I'm bad at that. I'm game. undefeated I'm right now. It. I'm undefeated. Oh, wow. But here, but this is why I'm undefeated. This game does something that I wish all sports games did. You start off and it's very easy, mm-hmm. and you're playing, you're doing what you're doing, and then it it says to you like, turn up the rating. Yeah, and as you turn up the numbers, it becomes. You get more control of the game, mm-hmm. and the competition gets a little harder. Yeah, and like I was leading in all the statistics when I was at the lowest level, and as I start <laughs> clicking it up, it's becoming harder to hit home runs. It's becoming harder. I'm still putting up a lot of points, yeah. but that's just because I'm very aggressive when I play baseball games. So, <laughs> um, but man, it is fun, dude. It is, and I'm having a blast with it. I feel like, is there strategy to throwing pitches? Because I feel like I'm just like doing random stuff. I'm sure there is. Obviously in real baseball, but I never know how that translates to an arcade game like that. A game like that, it's kind of funny because it does show you, like, if you throw a pitch that the Mm. computer isn't expecting, it tells you that you fooled the batter. Oh, really? And that's a game. That like that's the game within the game of baseball. That's right. why I don't think that like if you've played baseball in your life, that's something you know and you mm-hmm. you you love about the game is the, the, the duel between the pitcher and the batter. That's why when all that stuff went down during the season, why it it was so big, you know, with the Houston Astros winning the World Series because if I'm hitting and I'm a professional hitter and I know what the pitch is that's coming. Mm-hmm. 
It's lights oh, out. Yeah. It's lights yeah. out. You mm-hmm. know I mean, that's the hardest thing to to try to guess because you have a split how did they know? second. How did they know? What was the story there? How did like were they just they had, have? They had cam- They were using the cameras in the field, and oh, they were amazing. And what they were doing was they were hitting a trash can <clears throat> or blowing a whistle. Yeah. To send a signal to the batter that this is going to be a changeup or an all speed. Yeah. So if they don't hear the whistle, they know a fastball is coming. Mm-hmm. If they hear <clears throat> they hear the whistle or the bell or whatever, they knew it was going to be a curveball or a slider. It was that obvious. Like that's obvious. It was very obvious. <laughs> it was very, <laughs> but very with good. the crowd, with the crowd, like if I you're guess. just watching the game, yeah, you didn't really pick up true. on it. But yeah. when the complaint started to come out, there's a guy on YouTube named John John Boy. He sure. would actually break it down, and he would go every time a whistle would go, he go whistle, whistle. And all no of a sudden, you way. can hear it. All of a sudden, you can hear it because yeah. you're like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there it is. It was craziness, mm-hmm. dude. It was craziness. I love so, it. Hey, if you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough. You know what I mean? Okay. I think that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> they say in NASCAR. NASCAR is always like this gigantic gray area where mm-hmm. they're like, they're, they're tinkering with the with the rule books and stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, uh, but man, I just read too. Oh, uh, man. I guess Metroid's having problems. Metroid yeah. Prime well, 4. well, I saw the I saw the thing about the um, the lead producer role coming out, and then I saw it, so I'm like that was my first thought as well. Like, oh man, they're just getting a lead producer. But um, I saw somebody else tweet out like maybe just consider that maybe somebody else like had a life thing happen, they had to go away. Maybe it's a mat leave. Maybe it's like some sort of contract. Maybe something where they're just filling a position. It's not like they're hiring a brand new lead producer, right? Like it's possible. It's possible. Uh, well, I also wonder too. I guess it, it was listed for Metroid Prime Four, right? But because, maybe they. I'm what I'm saying is maybe they had a lead producer and that person had to like go move or something, or maybe they quit or whatever. Could have been. Like yeah. we don't. I don't know what the current. You like, don't know what the story is. chart is. Yeah. yeah like you know was this a brand new position or is yeah. it being filled? So, yeah. like the. I just want to like let Joey Ferris just chillax a little bit. You know, just he don't listen. Maybe. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Probably not. He don't listen to us. He's like, you know, because then you get the, every now and again you get the occasional mock Joey Ferris about Metro, and I don't think he likes mm-hmm. it too much. So no, I, think I don't he think he just so, stays yeah. away anywhere. Um, <clears throat> well, it's possible. But if you know, but if you, but if you know like, Jerry, if you know Jerry Ferris, you might as well tweet him to just say, "Hey, are you still alive? You didn't yeah. jump off a building, did you?" No, because hopefully not. That's uh, not not until that gets a six on Metacritic. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? He's no going to be losing his mind. Oh, I hope it's good. I hope it's good, I dude. hope it's bad. I hope it's bad. Oh, st- I hate. Mean? I hate Metroid I, Prime. Why? I can't play him. I just want I want a remaster. I think that would be good. Like, that'll definitely, like, tie you, us all over you a give me bit. a remaster of Super Metroid and we'll talk. That'd be all right. I, listen, this game might be different because if this game runs in 1080, 60 frames... Mm-hmm. I might be able to play it and not have any any worries about it. See, that's just it. Yeah, you've got a bit of a bias. You've got a medical bias against yeah. first person shooters. Yeah, that's okay. So you take one. Yeah. Of my, you take one of my favorite franchises and you throw it first person, and I'm and I'm, it's garbage to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do. I will say this. I do love the Metroid series. Like yeah. it's it's one that as a kid, I don't know that I would love it so much now as an adult. Uh, because I don't know that I had the time to actually work through those games the way I did as a kid. But mm-hmm. as a kid, man, I... Wait, how many hours do you have in Animal Crossing? No, no, no. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm getting at. Like, okay. like, Animal Crossing, I'm not dying and restarting and all that stuff. Sure. I'm not going against it, bosses. Yeah. It doesn't push back on you as much. Yeah, there's boss that battles. Like, there's mazes. Mm-hmm. There's You know what I mean? Like, there's none of that in Animal Crossing. What I mean yeah. is, like, when I played when I played Metroid games back in the day... Like it was an event. Like, yeah. You know, you come home from school or on weekends or in the summertime, and that's all you would do is just dive mm-hmm. into these games and just spend the time on these games. You know, now as an adult, I just feel like I don't have every single day to guarantee to play. Mm-hmm. And that's one of those things of like, it's like Axiom Verge. I like Axiom Verge, but like yeah. I get so far in and I'm like, where was I? Where, yeah, good point. Where do I you go? You spend your entire where? time trying to like re, re like craft, and then by the time where, you reconnect, where, like, you where you were and where you were going, mm-hmm. it's like I gotta go to bed. You know? And it's do you like, think? Do you think that you are already playing like the greatest retirement game of all time with Animal, with Crossing? Animal Crossing? Oh my yeah. god, yes! Like, is that not what we're all gonna be doing when mm. we, you know, turn sixty-five or whatever? I'll head I, to the home. 
I will be. Yeah, I'm playing this. I could see me playing this game for. I'm gonna get. I'm getting ready to buy my mom a switch. Till the day you die. I'm getting ready to buy my mom a switch. Are you her. really? Yeah, yeah. Because you think she'll play? I think she will. My cousins, mm-hmm. my cousins are raving about it to her. Yeah. And she, I don't know if you know this, but on Friday nights, uh, I stream on YouTube. And mm-hmm. when I start the stream, I do a little bit of chatting for about two, three minutes. And then I'm like, all right, we call my mom. And the whole chat lights up. It. Yes. Yeah. And then I call my mom and we talk for like, you know, 10 minutes or so on, on, yeah. the, on the stream. And the whole time, chat's like, oh, you got to get your mom Animal Crossing. I want to play with your mom. I want to play with your mom. And so chat wants her there mm-hmm. to play. And I just know her, man. She'll be so overwhelmed. But the, I, I just wait till see... she starts up a YouTube channel. Could she you imagine, dude? Nintendo could, Mama Guru. Could you? They call her Mama Guru. Mama could Guru. You, there you could go. Could you imagine her just like in, a, in our Discord mm-hmm. and like. Asking for stuff and taking mm-hmm. stuff. Me, I, to she be take care of all of us. But to be honest, you and I, I think would lose. Like the Discord would yeah, not be ours anymore. They would turn on <laughs> us for sure. Yeah, it they would, would leave us hers. definitely. Yeah, me and you would. Have I would. To, me and you would have to actually leave and start our own. Maybe, maybe we'll get another name. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, have to, we'd have to change the name of that one to Mama Guru, and mm-hmm. then me and you just slink out the room and be like. Okay, we'll go start this with ten people over here. Yeah, try again. Yeah, could you imagine her Make showing up and nasty trying to get like just talk trash yeah. to her, and mm-hmm. she would just be like, "F you, nasty." Like I could, I would she love put that. him in his place for sure. Be awesome. But I, I, to me, I think that yeah, I, I probably am playing the ultimate retirement game. Like mm-hmm. I, it's just when and I read an article. I didn't read the article. I saw that uh, Polygon did an article now saying that. Animal Crossing players are now playing the game right now how it was meant to be played. What does that mean? Meaning now they're playing at the slower pace. Like Oh, I see. The the last three, four months has been like a rat race Mm -hmm. to see who can get what and do what. And now, because Nintendo is they're doing their updates, but they're giving they're drip feeding it. Now people are actually playing the game at Mm -hmm. the pace it's intended to be played at. Yeah. And you know, because now people essentially like, hey, my islands are done. What do I do now? Oh, mm-hmm. okay, now I can go fishing or I can go bug hunting and all that stuff. So it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that somebody in your family likes Animal Crossing, though. That's that makes me happy. I mean, she says she does. She plays as much as I do. So well, Link, I'm talking about Link. Oh yeah, he does as well. We might play later today. Chelsea's got to go out, and she's like, "You can play a game with Link." I'm like, "Yes." He's getting to the age where we can start to. Like, play games together, and then it is over. Then it's over, man. He only wants like, to play Animal Crossing. No, he likes he likes Yoshi's Woolly World. I can handle that. He's getting pretty good at it. Is he, he really? Oh, because the they, yeah, they, the first... the, they got the... Does he play the baby mode? Yeah, he plays mellow mode, and he yeah. can't die, and he just kind of, like, chills out. He does the same thing over and over and over again. That's like, amazing. He, think, he feels like... It seems to me the way he plays it is, like, that first level is just, like, this open-world sandbox. Like, <laughs> as if it's not meant to go from, like, beginning to end, he just, like wanders about and that's just does so a bunch of stuff though. and he's so happy man he doesn't so care funny, though, though. he likes that's... when the flowers like light up and everything and he's got the he's got the aim down you know when he's shooting that balls game and everything is so good dude it is good it's that a good one is... that's one that they should have brought that's the deluxe i want oh don't worry about it they'll get it i'm sure it'll be november i'm sure it'll be the november game i'm sure right with uh kirby's rainbow curse or whatever oh please god don't do that well <laughs> <laughs> that's what you know 24 they'll just cap it off kirby's in december i would take that's... i to be honest with you i would not be upset with yoshi at all yeah yoshi's good i loved yoshi i thought that game i was that's why i was so disappointed with yoshi on the switch yeah which nobody talks about it anymore like, i don't even remember which one it was what Crafted the heck was world. it Crafted world. oh yeah 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 that's it's right trash yeah they yeah, should have called it trash compact world Okay. <laughs> Imagine if they did. We should go through and rename oh. a bunch of the games that we played on Switch. Just like, no, that's not what it's called. Like Origami King? No. Yeah. I don't even know. I didn't yeah. play it, though. Paper Cut King. Um. Paper- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you get your... Um, well, I think you probably already have the Animal Crossing themes. These these things on Tetris 99. I got they're, the Animal Crossing They're like Crossing redos one. or whatever. The only thing I didn't get was Ring Fit. It's not happening yet. When's that? Happen? It's like it's like days and it's like days and it's later on this week. Um, Luigi's Mansion is next. I, I got that, that already. On Monday. I think that I starts that tomorrow. I yeah, I think I, uh, the only yeah, one I don't. Ring Fit is the, the one I think I don't have. Yeah, the only out of the three, the only one I don't have is Ring Fit. So how did I miss that one? There's I don't no know, way. man. You know why? Because that was just randomly 
just popped up out of nowhere. That just but pop- it's still, even though I have these themes, it still works. It still gets me in, Bobby. Oh, dude, no doubt. I was back playing again yesterday. So was I. And I was, and like, even afterwards, I've gotten. Like, I didn't. Gotten feel, I got to, just like that. Does that but, does it? But to be fair, I don't like the fact that the points are less. Yeah, fifty points because it's trying yeah. to get you all three. But that's BS, man. I had to work hard to get them things. I no, dedicated my you time. You got them first. No, that's not right, man. Yeah, Ring Fit's on Thursday. It's uh, on Thursday? Luigi's Mansion is on Monday to Wednesday. Oh, my God. Yeah, Sunday still. They still got time for, man, for Animal Crossing. I'm not going to remember that. I love this game. I love this the game, The game man. is really, really good, man. Mm-hmm. So good. I love it. I love that game so much. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm chomping at the bit to put this Lego set together. I've seen people. Why haven't you it, done it yet? Just because I've been sick, man. Been in the hospital the whole time. Been in that hospital and seeing doctors, and I've just been trying to like relax, not get myself yeah. all you know, all hemped up and all that stuff. But people yeah. are worried about you, man. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. About time somebody cares about me. No, I'm, oh, just stop. I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. I'm just kidding. People care about you. I actually, it's funny because like I knew that I knew um, things were going on with your ears and stuff, yeah. uh, and then and then you kind of said in the Discord, "I'm not feeling so good." I'm like, "What's wrong?" Like I totally, yeah, like, I totally forgot. You had, like, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Something. yeah. So I jumped in off the seat. She's like, "I hope you have a full recovery." And then I find out later that you're actually kind of sick. So talk, <laughs> I'm like, "Oh no!" I'm so joking. here's something. We, here's what we really want to hear about. Talk to me about Phil Spencer gushing about Nintendo. He likes them. He was in Animal Crossing. Uh, that's I, see, even Phil Spencer will play Animal Crossing. He was in um, Gary Wood as uh, Animal Talking, right? Yeah. And they just like have people sit and just kind of. There's got to be a better way to do that. There's got to be an update that Nintendo can do because people are doing this. This is a thing where people will meet in Animal Crossing yeah. and then just like sit. Yeah. But they basically just kind of like they sit there and they just kind of like bobble their heads back and yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be great if you could just kind of have like some sort of like talking animation or something. There have, are like, animations. Effect. Well, that's what I thought. I thought when I'd people, seen you do it. Yeah, when people come and they play Nook No Nook. They'll yeah. sit there and literally like cry, or if they're nervous, sure, they'll sure, be sweating. Sure. And yeah, but yeah. you got but you got you got guys that act like they love Animal Crossing, trying to do this thing, and yeah. they're just they're just hip, hipped up on the hypeness. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a start on Gary Witta. Well, it's just, <laughs> we should do this show just in Animal Crossing. We could. People, then maybe huh? people then maybe people start to like you. See, I'm in Animal <laughs> Crossing. That's it. Oh man, what, it's not going away either. That's the thing. That's that's what kills me so much about this Animal Crossing thing. It's not going away. There's listen, no sign of it going away. No you distractions. Ju- you just don't play it because I know what happens. The minute you play it and you come around, it disappears. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll ruin it. I was. <laughs> Sean's like, all right, now I'm going to play people, <laughs> and then next week everybody's like, it goes away. Everybody's like, we don't. Star Fox this. comes out. Yeah, nobody cares about this game anymore. <laughs> nobody, nobody cares. I doubt it. This you is 2020's know. year of, Star, of uh, Animal Crossing. This That's is it. true. This is true. Um, I was going to ask you something. Just a weird, random question. Is there any is there any franchises from Nintendo that like mm. you think back and it's like just other than Mario? You know what I mean like, but like something you think back about and you go, I really miss this game or I miss this moment of playing this game. Yeah, UN Squadron, Bobby. You know oh this about me. <laughs> a Nintendo <laughs> game, not a Nintendo franchise. That's a third-party franchise. Something special. You don't have. You have any special moments of like playing? Um, UN Squadron's the one, man. Okay, I so like a lot of. I, I don't know, man. You're into uh, strategy stuff. That's why. UN Squadron's a. It's like um. What's him call it? It's like a side-scrolling like shooter. Is like it? it's a plain one. Uh, what's the, what's the one that Konami did? Oh, Grad- Gradius. Gradius, Gradius. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say Galaga. I'm like, that's not crazy. No. That's not right. Um, it's like that. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it was I didn't like have that. It growing up, remember? Yeah, that's like, it's true. Always, it's always gonna be Mario. It's always gonna be like PC. you take Mario and Zelda out of it, and it's like, well, those are the ones. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say take Zelda out of it. You could have done a Zelda one. You could have done the one about your your brother erasing neighbor Matt's Zelda game and. Weren't allowed to touch those. Those gold cartridges, man. They were too shiny. Like they're they too were, special. Okay. They and... were nice, man. I'm surprised mm-hmm. Nintendo stopped that. You know, yeah. Like, it was yeah. such. It was so awesome to open those cartridges, and they'd be gold and shiny. Mm-hmm. And it's like now we don't. Do you even... think they got carried away with 64, where like every game had like its own color? 
Like Turok was black and yeah, there's they red to get, ones too. Starting to get a little out of control with that. But even the gold yeah. wasn't good. Like, dude, they don't even do like, dude. It would have been awesome to open Breath of the Wild to be like a gold disc, gold, like yeah, something or like a gold cartridge. Like, cartridge, come on, yeah. man. They could have done. I don't know. It really disappoints me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like they they kind of gotten away from that. Like they need to go back to that. Yeah. What I would love yeah. for them to do. This is the truth. I would love for Breath of the Wild two to do a collector's edition and it to be a gold NES cartridge mm -hmm. that's just a case and you open yeah, it up just and show. there's a little cartridge inside of it Yeah, that's oh, also that's cool. gold you know what I mean? But like you have this cartridge that, that looks like it just has the text but it, it mm -hmm. has the logo and all that of Breath of the Wild and you just open it up and there's you know maybe like your map or your instruction booklet of some sorts inside there like, you'd be so good. Like, if we can do all this amazing stuff with the NES Lego set. Like, let Lego design your cartridges and Ooh. your packaging. Remember I told you that's last the future, week. That's future physical right remember there. Remember I told you last week that when I was building the old Lego set, that I, I built this one Lego set. I think it was called the Green Grocer was the set, the set. And behind the staircase, I put a mouse and a piece of cheese. And you lock it in and you never even see it only you know it's there it, mm -hmm. nobody will ever see it and i was like that's the attention to detail in lego and then this week i sent you a picture that somebody posted of inside the nes mm -hmm. is level one two of uh mario built into the into the nes before you put the shell on the hood it's in there nobody's ever yeah. gonna see that but it's just this weird attention to detail that they do that is like that's who you need designing your game cartridges, like your mm -hmm. packaging and stuff. Like someone like that. That's what, like that's what I want from Nintendo. I want. Do you them think there's any hope for that though? Like, do you think because like I just saw Disney is like not doing uh, 4K UHD Blu-rays anymore. Like they're just they're just done. They're done. They're not yeah. doing yeah. high-end Blu-rays anymore. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. The future of physical is not all that bright. Oh, but, I don't think. but like if you still have like let's be honest. Like, physical is still a thing for gamers. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. People don't... I mean, people do collect Blu-ray discs and stuff. But it's not the same. Yeah. Like, I literally have a Breath of the Wild thing on my shelf. The, I got the big, gigantic box, and it sits there. And it has... Like, we have our shelves to display all of our stupid stuff. You mm -hmm. know? And, like, you don't have that with... Like, you don't want... Who sits there with a YouTube channel with, like, Blu-rays behind them and stuff. True the, enough. The nerdy of the nerd. They, they, they put yeah. movie posters. I see, I see what you're they put movie posters up or right. things like that, not the actual cases. So, but if they did do something like that, maybe we get people buying. They just never yeah. did that. They just were like, hey, here's the movie, whatever. Go watch it. It's stupid. It used to. That used to be instead of, like, all of this stuff, like, my walls were covered with movies. Oh, like, back were in the day, that was definitely yeah. it. I used to have racks and racks like and racks. Hundreds of, of movies. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So I used to have that too, but I, I didn't display them anywhere. Like they were just yeah. in my living room off to the side. People would come over and be like, oh my God, you got a lot of movies. When we start a movie podcast. We'll do that. We'll okay. just have all our old movies kind of collected. I'm down. In the background. Let's go. You want to start a movie podcast? Let's do it. Why not? We got nothing better to do. Not even movies are coming out anymore, man. No I Nintendo, know, no, no, no movies, movies are coming out. at all. Mm -hmm. They were talking about for a while, they were putting them like straight, you know. Yeah. Which I don't see why they don't. Just do it. Just get them out. Although I, I will be one to say that like action movies need to be seen in the theater. Well, that theater's going to go away anyways. Bobby, um, Wave Race <laughs> is my answer from your question before. <laughs> Five minutes later, here he comes. Okay, so what's... what's well, you, the, you ramble on. I can't interrupt you. Yes, you Wave can. Race. Wave what? Race is the one. Wave Race is the one because it came out like just after, what, 1996, 1997. So there's, there's awkward 12-year-old me. Right. And me and my friend Chance, we would just stay up all night playing either GoldenEye or, or Wave Race. Like GoldenEye is another kind of like obvious yeah. one as well. But for whatever reason, like Wave Race just reminded me of summer. And when you live in Arctic cold Canada here, you want something to take you to the beach. Yeah. And we just played that. Like, it's funny because like there's not even a lot to it. Right. You have like your time challenges. You'd have mm -hmm. some of your some of your stunts. Did you ever play Wave Race all that much? Yeah, a little bit. I didn't, I didn't put a. I didn't put a lot of time in, but I played. You weren't really played, into it that, at that point. Were you, not, were you playing Mario 64? Yeah, I was playing Mario 64, and, and I was engaged then. You were engaged. 
terrible time in my life, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should have been playing Wave Race, That's man. another story. That's that another... was a one-and-done kind of game. There's a lot of one-and-dones on, on 64. I was playing I Pilot Wings. I love Pilot Wings mm-hmm. for that. Um, I got I got into Pilot Wings way later. Because yeah. my, my thought, like, again, like, when that came out, I was into, like, first-person shooters. I wanted things to be, like, really heavy and hardcore yeah. and stuff like that. So I looked at Pilot Wings, which is actually a really great game. I looked at I didn't understand the point. I yeah. didn't get it until like years and years later. Yeah. But Wave Race was just like instant. You start it up and like that's when I we think about like memories, the nostalgia just like pops up. Like when I think Wave Race, it's that that startup screen, like Wave Race and then yeah. ding, ding, like he's got that great music and it's great, man. It's really, really good. And we only got the one. I remember um Yeah, we did we only we, yeah, we only did get the one. That was it. I was surprised it didn't become a franchise that they did multiple times mm-hmm. over and over um, all the games i like like you don't like like we're we are could we have the we're we have i don't know about that we, we do just, we have a lot like, of we have you games just we like bad like. games man i don't have to tell you well that's what i'm saying you can call it whatever you want we have <laughs> games that we don't come together on because i like f-zero too like f-zero we played no, a lot F-Zero. and i actually can't believe that there wasn't multiplayer on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Like, because that's the one we played so much, but we would have to share. Yeah, it, that game. You know, when we rented it. Me. Never did anything for me, that game. Um, I can't believe that. I, but I will say that I love F Zero and Mario Kart. Like, right. I, I love those tracks on Mario Kart. Like, if they mm-hmm. did an F Zero similar to that, I'd be in. Because I love that F Zero. I don't know. It's just. It's whatever. That's the one where my mom used to watch us play. Like she would get dizzy. Like it was too fast for her. Yeah. Right. Like that's when you just realize, like, okay, there's a difference between like old people and young people. Like old people. Can't... <laughs> the funny thing is, she's probably like, back then she's probably like in her 30s. So like as yeah. old as I am now. Yeah. yeah, yeah looking yeah. at F Zero, going like, I can't look at that. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> it's crazy. Now we podcast with somebody like that. So. Wow. Thanks. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> First, future is not your fault. <laughs> so my. uh for me, though, the one memory that I have that, like, it, it hits me and I think about it and I go, oh, my God. My best friend, Dave Maxwell, growing up, we went to, we were in high school together. We, we, uh, we became friends in eighth grade. Mm-hmm. And we're in our eighth grade year. And we're playing The Legend of Zelda. Like, no, 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 that came out. Okay, no, it, we're in our, like, freshman year of high school. And Zelda's a thing. And, like, after school, we come home from school, and we go to his house. And his stepdad worked nights. Mm -hmm. So he would sleep during the day. But when he came home from work at nights, Dave was at school, so he would play Zelda in the mornings before he went to bed. So I remember going over to Dave's house. We'd have to be really quiet. We couldn't make noise or anything. Mm -hmm. So we'd go over there, and there would be notes from his stepdad, Danny, going like hey i was playing zelda and here's a map of this dungeon this is what i what? figured out so far and then dave and i would take what he left us and then try to push forward and then we would then fill in the blanks of the map for him no way and then he'd come back the next morning and there was a completed map or three quarters of the map dude. that's amazing it was awesome dude it was awesome that's so, very like open and trusting i wasn't even allowed to touch another cartridge and there you are like playing somebody else's save file well no we didn't play push- no, no no we didn't play we played our own save files oh okay so you but, just managed to be in the same spot we, we yeah because we were all we were all progressing across sure, dave sure. And that's, I, a, dave, that's amazing dave and i would share a save file we, the way mm-hmm. we dave, the way dave and i would play was we'd play until one of us died then you sw- mm-hmm. pass the controller, and the other one would play until they died. Then you pass yeah. the controller back. Danny had his own save file on Dave's Zelda cartridge. Mm-hmm. And then, so Dave and I would play together, and then we would leave notes for Danny, and Danny would leave notes for us, and we were kind of progressing together along. And it was, like, wow. so awesome. And then, like, because Zelda was so, the original Zelda was mm-hmm. so hard in terms of like they didn't tell you anything to know where to go we didn't even know where to next. go to find the to find mm-hmm. the, the, the labyrinths and stuff so yeah it'd be like danny would be like hey i f- bombed this wall 
over that's here. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's not even for bonus. Like, yeah. You have to do that. Yeah, and it's like, and you'll get into the next, you'll get into like level three or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, we were like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, yeah, you're still calling it levels, too. You didn't even yeah. understand like, what, even the, like yeah. what it was. Yeah. It was awesome. It you was had so Mario's cool, levels. Though. Yeah. It was so cool, though. But it was back in the day, that was probably like, I, I it hit me a little while ago, and I was like, that is such a memory. What's like, the, what's the system that you played like the most of? Because like for me, I, I as I think about it, like I think sixty four is the one that I had the most hours into because of oh, the multiplayer games that they Super had. Super Nintendo. Like Super it's close. Nintendo. Like we played, uh, we played like because when you take out Mario, I'm like, well, I mean, my special memories were playing Super Mario World and Mario Three mm-hmm. at Sheldon's house and Matt's house and everybody yeah. else, like all these friends that I used to have. Um, but like 64 was it with GoldenEye four player uh, multiplayer Star Fox 64 yeah. had the one level I know you hate Star Fox and all that stuff. We no, played... I like Star Fox 64. Yeah, but that's about the only one I like. Sauron. We just played like it was daily, yeah. right? Like it was summers. It was every single day Mario Kart 64. Yeah, just all the time, man. Like those are the ones, and it's crazy because well, I don't look back too fondly on the 64 like i think a lot of people like it does those well, it games does, don't hold up very they look much like trash it's but wild. those are the memories like those are the ones and i think that's why for me uh the super nintendo is the one you mm-hmm. know because we have mario kart that's the first mario kart and I, right dude i can tell you right now like i remember me and my brother and my cousin playing battle mode mm-hmm. and winner winner controls you yeah, know, like whoever wins stays on controller one. Oh man, dude, that's kind of like yeah. When you think about like a King of the Hill situation, that was Street Fighter for us. Yeah, Street yeah. Fighter Two was just like, and all of the Street Fighters yeah, like that just stayed mm-hmm. on. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and then like you know, the funny thing was like you have that, and then like I me we were me and my cousins were huge on football, so Tecmo Bowl was our jam. <laughs> and of course, yeah, Super Tecmo Bowl was on there and that game mm-hmm. was unbelievable because they had real players and like mm-hmm. and it was very easy pick up to play everybody could play it was so fun dude it was just in canada it was nhl 94 for us like when you saw somebody's like picture on there it's just like what like there's no way how the heck did Those they get games that in were there so good NHL i wish 94. we played it recently over christmas with my with my brothers i wish ea would just come back and go like we're gonna do our classic line mm-hmm. we're gonna bring back our classic line and this is what we're gonna do yeah. This is how we're going to, you know, like, we're just going to put old school games back out. Madden, too. Madden mm-hmm. was awesome back then. Yeah. You know, it was so easy to pick up and play. Yeah. Like, you literally need to know how to play these sports today mm-hmm. in order to be good. You yeah. Know, where before, you could be mediocre and, mm-hmm. and, and pick up the controls and get good really quick. The problem mm-hmm. with those games, though, were once you figured out how to get good, you just dominated the computer. That's why they had to add kind of a simulation element yeah. to all of those, like yeah. not just like football, but like hockey as well. Because hockey was the same thing. Yeah. Like that one one version of the game was like wraparounds going in all the time. Others yeah. were like yeah. the you know dot to dot one timers. No but problem. that's when to me that's when EA was its best because well it's because it was for everybody. Well, and not that's even why that. It was so it's, it's like they had Madden, which was amazing. Mm-hmm. They had NHL, which was amazing. Yeah, they did like. Uh, FIFA was great back then too. Bulls, I love FIFA. Like Chicago, like Bulls versus the Lakers and those games. Like it's funny because we played um, NCAA basketball on Super Nintendo. Oh, that was a good one too. Yeah, with that the blue a, background yeah. and everything. Like just like there's nothing behind them. Or NBA Jam, of course. Yeah, just yeah. arcade. Oh, stuff. NBA Jam. That was another one on the Super Nintendo that we played, mm-hmm. and that was amazing. Like that was so yeah. good, dude. Endless. Well, it was funny because well, we played it when we rented it for birthdays and stuff for Super Nintendo, but I had it on Game Boy. Okay. I had NBA Jam Tournament Edition on on Game Boy. Yeah. And that's where I got all my time in, man. Like yeah. I wish I, I I I don't know what happened to all my games. Like, I have a couple of them left, but I had like a stack of Game Boy games. Yeah. Right. And one of them, Bobby, Kirby Dreamland. No, oh, trash. Pretty good. I, but, I think it was two. Kirby but Dreamland. for me, but he, but here's the thing with Super Nintendo. I really got a lot of stuff going with, um, that's when Final Fantasy really. Like, I started yeah. playing RPGs. Oh, all the JRPGs. Dude, yeah, man. Chrono, Chrono Trigger, Trigger Secret mm-hmm. of Mana, like, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy yep. 3, which was 4 and 6 in Japan, and what people know is 4 and 6 now. Like, that's when I fell in love with JRPGs mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Like, it was amazing. It was amazing. Those were fighting. That was a fighting game era for us a lot. Yeah, Street Fighter, Mortal Street Kombat. Fighter. Oh, yeah. Like, Clay Fighter, Bobby. I know you hate Clay Fighter. 
that was a bad game. But it was good. It, <laughs> it was well, fun. It, was just, called too? it probably um, was a bad game. What's the one that that Xbox Killer Instinct? Now? That was a Killer good Instinct. one, dude. Yeah, that was a great one. That came with a soundtrack and everything. Yeah, man. Remember that? Because mm-hmm. that was yeah, on, those, that are, was those on, are sleepover games. But that was Super Nintendo and mm-hmm. the 64 as well. 64 at KI Gold, yeah. They had a, that silicon that silicon graphics was yeah. what they had. Because remember, those, at the yeah. end of... That was the amazing stuff. At the end of the Super Nintendo, they started to come out with the silicon graphics technology mm-hmm. that was making the games rendered. And they looked yeah. amazing. Like Donkey Kong. Donkey yeah, leave it to Rare amazing. to do that. Definitely. Oh, my God. And then at Super Mario RPG... Like, dude, just... I never awesome played Super Mario RPG. I see a couple of people going back to that right now. I, never I played, played a little that one. bit. I played a little bit of it, but it was at the end of the life cycle. So I was moving on to the N64. And did I did they have another it. controller that you could play, like so, like some sort of fight sick or something on 64? Because it was a, like that D-pad. When I think about that D-pad, like I have like PTSD. Like I'm thinking about trying to play Killers in Gold with that D-pad. Like that D-pad was aggressive. Yeah. On your thumb. It wasn't mm-hmm. nice. Like, that Super Nintendo D-pad was perfect. It yeah. was soft. Like, you could do the Hadouken. Yeah, no man. problem. You yeah. didn't, like, you you sort of, like, build up a callus. I'd go home with, like, bruises on my thumb. <laughs> playing sadly, all night on the 64 controller. Sadly, with the N64, that's when that's when people started to leave. Third parties started to leave Nintendo. A little bit. Yeah, definitely. And it was just like, this is not the same. Yeah, just over to PlayStation. You know, pretty much, yeah. And it's just mm-hmm. like... So that's when we started to lose all this stuff. But that's where Rare gets so much credit for how great they were. Was because mm-hmm. when we weren't getting anything, we were getting Rare games. Yeah. Like Blast How did Corp. they pump out so many games? I how many teams know, did man. they have? They must have had a bunch, man. Blast Core. You remember Blast Core? Oh, my God. I played that on Rare Replay recently, and it's such a great game. Oh, my God, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, take this dump truck through this thing. Spin, it's just a simple idea. Like, spin around and whack it with the backside and yeah. wipe out this wall. And it was like... You keep trying over and over and over. Oh, it was so good. Mm-hmm. Dude. What a, it's an excellent game. I would love to see that come back, actually. Yeah, that would be amazing. It'd be on Xbox. Of course. Of course whatever. Really. Whatever. Who cares? Or for better or for worse, I you guess. You never know. They might find its way over to Nintendo. Battletoads is back on Xbox. Is that out now? Yeah, it'll be out in a couple days here. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing it right and, now. How is it? I can't. I don't know if I can say much. Okay, well, yeah. well why? This don't come out till Wednesday. No, it'll come out today for patrons and stuff. Uh, okay, so sure. still, still a couple more days. You'll see. All right. Anyway, I gotta go. You have a yeah. you have a good day, buddy. Well, I'll miss you. I, I miss you already. Thank you for listening to A Cup of Joe and Nintendo, a production of the You Me and Capri Patreon. If you like the show, you can support them at patreon.com. You Me Capri. A Cup of Joe and Nintendo is available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and all of your other podcast services. Be sure to follow Bobby and Nintendo Gurus on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. For everything that Sean does on the internet, follow him on Twitter, at Sean Capri. Sean like Connery, Capri like the pants. Also, twitch.tv Sean Capri. That is all. Peace out, Preston.